Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 2.7 part 2 today for Algebra 1 Math. And on your class worksheet today, you got 20 points. Students have that out ready to go. 21 points are going to your notebook, so definitely have that ready. Part 2, solving proportions using cross products. Put your name, date, period here on your phone, your PC, your iPad, or your Droid, or your Chromebook. Page 1 of today's lesson is a notebook entry here students have your notebook out write and solve a proportion each day the seals at an aquarium uh, at an aquarium are each fed eight pounds of food <clears throat> for every 100 pounds of their body weight a seal at the aquarium weighs 280 pounds how much food should the seal be fed per day so step one write a proportion Involving two ratios that compare the amount of food with the weight of the seal. And so here we are. So 8 over 100, 8 pounds of food per 100 equals X over 280, weight of seal amount of food. So to solve for that proportion that we set up, solve the proportion. So we're going to cross uh, multiply here. 8 times 280 equals 100 times X. And then when we multiply out, 2240 times 100x divide through by 100 and we end up with 22.4 equals x so the 280 pound seal should be fed 22.4 pounds of food per day let's go into our guided up here in example three suppose the seal weighs 260 pounds how much food should the seal be day and in our guided here was our original uh, 8 over 100 equals x over 280 now we're going to replace 280 with 260 right we're going to replace uh, 280 with 280. And then go ahead and solve for x once we have that set up 8 over 100 equals x over 260 and that comes out to after we cross multiply 8 times 260 equals 100 x this is 2080 equals 100 divide through by 100 and we get 20.8 pounds of fish uh, that that seal should be fed per day let's go into our page four here scale drawings and scale models the floor plan below is an example of a scale drawing a scale drawing is a two-dimensional drawing of an object in which the dimensions of the drawing are in proportion to the dimensions of the object. That's a really good definition of a scale drawing. A scale model is a three-dimensional model of an object in which the dimensions of the model are in proportion to the dimensions of the object. Again, another great definition. Here's your floor plan here. Scale is 1 inch to 12 feet. Again, it's in proportion to the actual object. The scale of a scale drawing or scale model relates the drawings or models, dimensions, and the actual dimensions. So, for example, the scale in 1 inch equals 12 feet on the floor plan means that one inch in the floor plan so every one inch up here in the drawing represents an actual distance of 12 feet so if this is like one inch here that'd be 12 feet so uh, students in your own words uh, define scale drawing and define scale model this is 10 points page six in your notebook and let's and we have scale we have another uh, term scale define scale in your notebook, five points here, page seven, define scale. And we got another one now. We go into another example here. So let's go into example four. Use the scale on a map. So maps use a metric ruler and the map of Ohio to estimate the distance between Cleveland, between Cleveland up here and Cincinnati. Cincinnati's down here. So estimate that distance, students, uh, at your desk. From the map scale, and here's our scale, one centimeter equals 85 kilometers. One centimeter represents 85 kilometers. On the map, the distance between Cleveland and Cincinnati, Cleveland and Cincinnati, is about 4.2 centimeters. 
write and solve a proportion to find a distance d between these. So we know we know the scale. <clears throat> Uh, we got 1 over 85 equals 4.2 over D. So we have 1 centimeter to 85 kilometers. These are kilometers down here. 1 centimeter to a uh, 85 kilometers equals 4.2 centimeters. And we're trying to find the kilometers between uh, Cleveland and Cincinnati. So once we set up our proportion here, 1 times D, we cross multiply. 1 D equals 85 times 4.2. And we end up with uh, D equals 357. So the actual distance between Cleveland and Cincinnati is about 357 kilometers is what we end up with. Let's go into a guided. A, a map has a scale of 1 centimeter equals 15 kilometers. Use the given map distance to find the actual distance. So we have 3.2 centimeters here. So use the given map. Uh, distance. We have 3.2 centimeters. How many kilometers is that? And then down here, since this is your independent practice, let's guide it up here. So we have 1 centimeter uh, equals 15 kilometers, and we have 3.2 centimeters. So how far in kilometers is 3.2 centimeters in actuality? So we have centimeters over kilometers, uh, 1 to 15. Uh, equals 3.2 2x. So when we set up our proportion, we cross multiply. We have x equals 15 times 3.2, which is 48. So uh, that represents a distance of 48 kilometers. <clears throat> and that's your lesson for today. Anime PowerPoint Math Video at AOL.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.